Right, let's see where we left off. Um, I think we are sketching, is it? Okay, sketching time. Okay, um, okay, let's uh, just make some x, y, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220, 216, x, y. Okay, well, from minus three to three, um, the function is positive and its derivative is positive when it's more than one. Hang on, one, two, three, minus one, minus, oh, I can fix it. One, two, three, minus one. One, two, three. Okay. Now, um, the function is positive and rising when it's more than one. And between minus three and zero. Okay. But it's flat between zero and one. So I guess I could go with something like Let's exaggerate a bit more. Flat. Let's draw the flat part in first. I said flat, curve up, and then curve, curve in. I had a lot left to do. Okay, so uh, positive rising. Okay, now the next one, 217. One, two, three. One. Two, three. Right. Positive when it's more than two. So it's it's rising when it's more than two. And between minus three and minus one. So I mean I could just have it going like that. Um then negative between minus one and two so it's drop it's sloping down so okay between minus one and two so um and then it's rising so, okay, let's check it out now. Uh, so, positive more than two and between minus three and minus one. Um, negative between minus one and two. And then negative concave down, as they say, for all x. Oh, for all x. Interesting. So this will have to be 
concave down, which I can definitely do. This will have to be concave down, which I can definitely do. And this will have to be concave down, which I can definitely do. So it's kind of like this shape. I think that's all right. Now let's check it out. Uh, positive. Oh. Okay, positive when it's more than two and between minus three and minus one. And then negative sloping down um, between minus one and two. I can draw that a little bit better and always negative. So I kind of need to kind of flatten this off a little bit. It's not, not great. Try and get it concave still. Um, but um, the first derivative could be, these could be turning points here because um, it doesn't specify what happens at the points similar to the previous question. Um, this is flat here, and this could be like a turning point. Okay, um, 218. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. 218. Um, negative so that's concave between minus one and one so let's draw some concave shape in uh, but then positive so convex between minus three and minus one so could be like that and also between one and three a local max at zero. Okay, that's not perfectly lined up, but you can see what I. Yeah. Um, and then at minus two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I ended up drawing. All right. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two one nine. There's a local maximum at two, a local minimum at one, and the graph is neither concave up nor concave down. So it could be something like this, I guess. Uh, because the second derivative is zero. I think, that, I think that's what they're doing there, a little bit sneaky, maybe. 220. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, okay. There's local maxima at one and minus one. The function is concave up for all x. And the function remains positive for all x. Doesn't say there can't be a minimum. But. I wonder if it's a. Function doesn't have to be continuous or differentiable. So maybe to provide prevent further max or min, I'll have it asymptotically shooting up to infinity at the origin like that. Sorry, I've got a thumb. Oh no, they're local. Oh, they're local max. Oh, 
What about something that exponentially increase um, now max max exponentially comes in max is out then not defined here maybe something like that would do it Let's see if there's answers. Or two sixteen to two twenty. Ah. Ah. All right. Well, maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I've misread something or misunderstood something. But these are the graphs I came up with anyways. I think I'll I'll leave it there for today.